Hi guys, I've been waiting to do this for a bit of time, I've tried to do it many times, but I think finally I've nailed it, and um, I, I'm, I've been trying to do some screencasts for a while, and because I've been getting a lot of um, subscribers on uh, on YouTube, so I thought I'd do a couple of videos for you guys, so I'm going to do a screencast today about one of my favourite applications, which is CSS Edit. It's one I use to help me do my site, as you can see, which is here, armaspera.com. So I thought it'd be nice to show you how it works and why you should get it. Um, well, start off with when you launch it, you come up here, you get this preview window here, and you get and you have a URL here. You type in your URL, and it goes to the site, loads it just like a normal browser. My images haven't loaded there. I don't know why, but uh, that's okay. Then uh, it acts as completely normal. But this is what the trick is: the CS edit up here. There is a um, little thing called X-ray. As you read here, it allows you to do. Um, it allows you to basically click. If once you activate it by clicking on, so activated it. Now, you know the hoverovers on those buttons don't work anymore suddenly. And I, what happens if you click on the area, select it with a blue hover. Now I have my inspector open over here. Here's my inspector, a bit bigger. Here it shows you anything to do with the styling of it. So obviously there's no styling apparently acting on the paragraph. But if you go to div hash header underscore img, there's the CSS styling hash header underscore img. Now what happens when you click on that? So it asks you if you want to um, download the style sheet from the on from the site, and of course we do. So we click override and edit. While it extracts the CSS, um, I'll explain it a bit more. What it's going to do is it's going it, to it's going to download the CSS from the site and allow me to edit it locally. But and I'll see the effects in this preview window here. But I won't affect the online site. So once I've finished and I've cho I've decided that's what I want, I can then click and save it out as a style.css and. Um, upload it to my site and I have an instant change which is really useful if you're look if you're not sure what exactly you want to do quite yet with your site but there's something just wrong and you just want to sit there tweak it for a couple of minutes this is a very quick and easy way to do it now it's downloaded the CSS um let's go here now we obviously we want to see he hash header underscore image so we go there and we choose hash. so now it's highlighted this bit here now I want to make hash uh, the, the head of it, I want to make it 100 pixels rather than 110. Now that looks better. Now, I don't like the colour. I want to go for something more girly. So let's go pink. Yes, I like that, don't you? Now, I think this black bar here is just too dark for that now. So if we click Yul Nav, it takes us to the Yul Nav bit here. So um, we want to change the background colour from here. Let's make that grey. That's nice, that's very girly. Um, let's change some other stuff around here as well. We can do that. Um, what should we do? Should we add some padding of a padding of 10 pixels? I don't know what that's going to do. Yes, yeah, very good. I like that. Makes it look um, a lot nicer and thicker. I don't know. Uh, I'm not so sure on that one, but hey. As you can see, it's very easy to make informed, quick des design de decisions with it. Allowing you to, it gives you a quick, easy preview of what's going on. So this is a visited link of the Ulnav. You can just change the color of it when it's visited. It can go green. So there you go. Now we do. Now again, once we're finished, uh, we can just go here and do file, save as, save it to where you want, rename it to what you should want what you want to be, I want it to be star.css you save it out and you have the file straight there on your desktop just upload it using whatever you use, transmit, cyberduck, I use cyberduck because it's free and I haven't managed to afford transit yet and that is all you have to do you upload that, that's why I like it so much, it's quick, it's easy and it is very efficient I hope that show helps you guys, if you're d trying to do some CSS and you're not so sure on what you're doing I wasn't great at CSS and I've learned quite a lot from using CSS Edit. 
I can't quite remember the price at the moment, but it's not too expensive. I got it as part of the Mac Heist bundle. And I would definitely suggest it to anyone who's planning on doing any sort of web design or web alteration. And um, I hope to do more of these screencasts for you guys. So, okay, thank you and bye.